Many amazing mega projects are taking the world by storm. From finishing the tallest bridge on Earth to building huge new airports, skyscrapers, and metro systems, this year is going to be unforgettable. To give you a tip of the iceberg, Canada has two totally different projects battling to be the country's tallest skyscraper, and India is creating the world's largest hybrid renewable energy park ever. Today, we're counting down the 15 biggest mega projects set to be completed in 2025. Starting off with the Middle East, the Port of Neom is a groundbreaking development and a key part of the ambitious Neom megacity project in Saudi Arabia. With an investment of $2 billion, it is poised to become a global hub for shipping and logistics, serving as a gateway that links major trade routes across Asia, Europe, and Africa. Strategically located along the Red Sea coast, the port is designed to handle a significant volume of global maritime trade. Set to begin operations in early 2025, the Port of Neom will feature advanced automation and sustainable practices to support Neom's vision of creating a city powered entirely by renewable energy. Although it is part of the larger Oxagon project, which is billed as the largest floating structure in the world, the 2025 launch will focus exclusively on the Neom port itself. Number 14. Huajiang Canyon Bridge China is no stranger to creating some of the most incredible mega-projects in the world, and their latest achievement is truly record-breaking. The Huajiang Canyon Bridge, located in Guizhou Province and towering an astonishing 625 meters above the ground, will become the highest bridge in the world when it opens in June 2025. To put that into perspective, you will have to stack two Eiffel Towers on each other to reach the height of the bridge. What's even more surprising is its relative low estimated cost of about $280 million. For a project of this scale and complexity, that's remarkably affordable. But the bridge isn't just about function. It's designed to be a major tourist attraction. Visitors can look forward to private accommodations, a thrilling glass walkway, and the world's highest bungee jump. Next up, India is about to begin operations of what will soon become the world's largest hybrid renewable energy park, and it's a game changer. Located in Gujarat, near the Pakistan border, the Kavda Solar Park will have a massive combined capacity of 30 gigawatts of energy generated from both solar panels and wind turbines. This incredible park will be capable of powering up to 18 million Indian homes. But what's even more impressive is the sheer scale of the project. The park will span an eye-popping 726 square kilometers, which is about the same size as the entire country of Singapore. The entire $2 billion facility, it's so vast that you can even see it from space. Heading over to the Scandinavian nations, Sweden is also constructing the European Spallation Source, an exciting and groundbreaking project currently under construction in Lund. This facility will focus on producing neutron, which have a wide range of scientific applications. Essentially, the facility will use a particle accelerator to smash protons into a heavy target. This process, called spallation, releases neutrons, which are then captured and used for research in various scientific fields like material science, chemistry, biology, and physics. One key application of the European spallation source will be producing incredibly detailed images of materials, even down to the atomic level. This can give us clear insights into how materials are formed and how they interact with each other. Continuing with transportation infrastructure, Bahrain is set to revolutionize its public transport system with a long-awaited project, the Bahrain Light Rail Network. This 30-kilometer elevated rapid transit system will serve the capital city, Manama, and its surrounding metropolitan areas. The project, which is currently under construction with a $2 billion investment, will have two initial lines that that are expected to serve up to 200,000 passengers daily when they open in 2025. The two lines currently under construction are the red line and the blue line. The red line will be 13 kilometers long and have nine stations connecting major areas. The blue line, on the other hand, will span 15.6 kilometers and have 11 stations. Once fully completed, the Bahrain Light Rail Network will dramatically improve public transportation in the region. India's rapidly growing city of Mumbai is set to open its much-needed second international airport, the Navi Mumbai International Airport, which will help ease the overcrowding at the existing 
Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. The new airport is expected to open around March 2025 and will have the capacity to handle 25 million passengers annually. With a total estimated cost of $2 billion, this new hub will significantly improve connectivity for the Mumbai metropolitan region. Furthermore, the airport spans 1,160 hectares, in late 2024, the airport began testing operations, with its first commercial test flight taking place in December. The airport is now set to officially open on the 17th of April, 2025. Let's head over to Germany, where the highly anticipated For Frankfurt project is still under construction. The For Frankfurt is a $1.1 billion luxury development featuring four mixed-use skyscrapers in the heart of Frankfurt. While the project has faced delays, a lot of the structural work on the four towers has already been completed. When finished, the tallest of the buildings will rise 233 meters, making it the third tallest building in Germany. The entire development will include office space for around 4,000 people, 600 residential apartments, and a variety of shops and restaurants, making it an important addition to Frankfurt's skyline and city center. Designed by Dutch architect Ben van Berkel, this mixed-use complex is set to transform the city once construction wraps up, with an expected completion date now set for 2025. The new administrative capital is an exciting and ambitious project in Egypt. Located 45 kilometers east of Cairo, this new city is planned to become Egypt's capital, providing a modern and spacious environment for the country's government operations. The idea for this new capital was first announced in 2015 by the Egyptian housing minister, Mustafa Madbouli. The new capital will be built over a massive 700 square kilometer area and is expected to house around 6.5 5 to 7 million people. The goal behind creating this new city is to alleviate the severe congestion in Cairo, which has a metropolitan population nearing 20 million people. Shura Island is a key part of the Red Sea project, located off the west coast of Saudi Arabia. This stunning island in the shape of a dolphin serves as the primary gateway to one of the most ambitious renewable tourism initiatives in the world. It is home to the world's fourth largest barrier reef system and is inhabited by several endangered species. The island spans an area of 5.6 square kilometers. Tourism development on Shura Island includes the construction of 11 hotels and resorts made from low thermal mass building materials. Additional features include a lake designed to raise the island's elevation, helping to counter the effects of rising sea levels. Gujarat International Finance Tech City, or Gift City, is an ambitious business district under construction in Gujarat, India. It is India's first operational greenfield smart city and international financial services center, promoted by the government of Gujarat. Located on the banks of the Sabarmati River, Gift City is designed as a modern, walkable urban environment with commercial, financial, and residential areas. The city is well connected by a network of four to six lane highways and has a metro station planned to link it to the Ahmedabad Metro. The project spans 359 hectares, which is roughly the size of 334 soccer fields. Malacca Gateway is an ambitious offshore development of artificial islands located in Malacca, Malaysia. Officially launched on the 7th of February 2014 by Malaysia's Prime Minister Najib Razak, the project was initially expected to open in 2018 and be fully completed by 2025. The project was planned to feature a mix of residential, commercial, leisure, tourism, and industrial zones. However, due to a variety of challenges, the project was significantly scaled back. It was eventually redefined to focus only on the development of Malacca Island. In November 2020, reports emerged suggesting that the project had been scrapped by the state government. However, the Malaccan chief minister, Suleiman Mid Ali, clarified that the project would not be abandoned, but would instead undergo a change of developer to resolve some of the technical issues. By February 2022, the project resumed with the development of the first island, Pulau Malacca East 1, after receiving state government approval through a signed agreement on the 23rd of February. The One is a super-tall skyscraper under construction in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which once completed will become the tallest building in the country. 
standing at a height of 308.6 meters, with 85 stories. This will surpass First Canadian Place, which has held the title of Canada's tallest building since 1975. The one will also be Canada's first super-tall skyscraper. The developer, Sam Mizrahi, acquired the land in October 2014 for 300 million Canadian dollars. He received approval from the city on September 12, 2016, to move forward with the project. Initially estimated at 1 billion Canadian dollars, the total cost of the construction had risen to 2 billion Canadian dollars by October 2023 after the filing for receivership. Queen's Wharf is a major multi-purpose residential and entertainment precinct located in the central business district of Brisbane, Australia. The development is partially completed, with construction still ongoing, the project will feature 2,000 apartments, 1,100 hotel rooms, and a casino. Additionally, it will include a 1,500-seat ballroom and a sky deck observation platform, offering 360-degree views and open to the public 24-7. The precinct will have approximately 50 new cafes, bars, and restaurants. The redevelopment includes the construction of four high-rise buildings and a new Neville Bonner Bridge, which will connect the precinct to South Bank. Work on Queen's Wharf began in March 2018, and while the initial completion date was set for 2022, it was later revised to 2023, and then delayed again to April 2024. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a cable-stayed bridge currently under construction across the Detroit River. The bridge will link Detroit with Windsor, Ontario. This new crossing will allow uninterrupted freeway traffic flow, unlike the current Ambassador Bridge, which connects to city streets on the Ontario side. The bridge is named after Canadian ice hockey legend Gordie Howe, who played for the Detroit Red Wings for 25 years. Howe passed away two years before construction began. The project was first proposed in the early 2000s, but faced significant opposition, notably from Ambassador Bridge owner Manuel Matty Marone, who argued that competition from a public bridge would reduce his revenue. In response, the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, a Canadian federal crown corporation, was formed in 2012 to manage the project's construction and operation. Despite multiple lawsuits from Moran claiming the new bridge violated exclusivity rights, the legal challenges were rejected and property expropriations proceeded. With an estimated cost of 3.8 billion Canadian dollars, the project is funded by the Canadian federal government, and the construction cost will be repaid through bridge tolls. The Metro Tunnel, previously known as Melbourne Metro Rail, is an underground heavy rail project currently under construction in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. This project involves the construction of twin 9-kilometer rail tunnels running from South Kensington, northwest of the Melbourne Central Business District, to South Yarra in the southeast, with the addition of five new underground stations. The goal of the Metro Tunnel project is to separate existing lines to allow metro-style operations, significantly increasing the capacity of the city's rail system and enabling higher frequency services. The project includes installing high-capacity signaling and platform screen doors. Planning for the Metro Tunnel project began in 2015, and initial construction started in early 2017. Construction works in the Melbourne Central Business District led to temporary closures to allow tunnel and station construction. Tunneling began in 2019 and was completed in 2021. While the project was initially scheduled to be finished in 2026, it has now been fast-tracked for completion by 2025. The estimated cost for the Metro Tunnel project is $12.8 billion, and it is being delivered by the Victorian Infrastructure Delivery Authority. And there you have it, some of the most exciting and ambitious infrastructure projects taking shape around the world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the world's most groundbreaking projects. See you in the next one.